This is awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well guys, if you haven't figured it out yet, why I built this out of Unistrut, I don't know what to tell you. Look how everything just bolts right together. And it's configurable, so if I don't like the way it's set up, I can move it around. And of course this is just for mock-up. I may change this around a bit. This is not the final setup. 
although I do like this quite a bit, I may have to move the brackets back one more. I'll have to adjust the driver's side. It, it seems a little cramped. It's not too bad, but if you were like six foot tall, it might be uncomfortable. But other than that, I think this is going together really well. I'm actually comfortable in this seat and it has adjustable height too, so you can go up and down. And you don't really wanna to be too far away from the um, steering brakes because you wanna maintain control of the snowcat. So from what I've seen, um, the drivers usually hunker pretty close to those sticks. So this up here, down in the comments section, I want you to tell me what you think this is gonna be. Obviously it's not complete yet, but what do you think I'm gonna do with this piece right here? It's fiberglass. I had it left over from some troop seats in the trailer out there. And I'm gonna repurpose it for something, but what am I gonna repurpose it for? The, um, the shifter here, I'm kind of undecided on. I may tie it into the doghouse. Um, I may take a piece of aluminum and make a mounting plate for it and put it like right here. But I'm just kind of undecided on it, so I, I just left that out. Everything here functions the way it's supposed to. I got full throttle pedal. You know, on the accelerator, I can go all the way down. It doesn't bump anything. The sticks move freely without bumping into stuff. The parking brake moves freely without bumping into stuff. So that was kind of my goal when I was putting this together in my thought process. Now, this took me five hours, or six hours or so to uh, go through and get this mocked up like this. And um, it is time consuming figuring out where all this stuff is going to be because once you put it there that's it I mean you don't want to go back and change stuff around again so I'm probably going to continue working on this tomorrow and uh, we'll get a little bit more done I might try to run the cables and get the correct lengths made up and uh, use the crimper to put some um, cable stops on there and get everything uh, working the way it should I might do that I might continue on with trying to fix the seat I may try to mount the shifter uh, I might do something with this but for today I think that's gonna be it guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed yet I'd love to have you as a subscriber you're gonna want to see when we get rusty done the plans that I have for transporting them around. I'm not buying another trailer. I don't plan to, but I think you're gonna like what I come up with to get rusty to and from some of the snow areas. And I'll give you a hint. You're not gonna wanna miss that. That'll be a, another build series <laughs> all on its own. But other than that guys, I hope you're staying safe. And as always, take care and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.